Hey everyone, welcome back. It's Tavis Leaf Glover, and today we have another Canada of Design Quick Tips. And this one is a painting by Sir Edward John Pointer, another one of my favorite painters. So this one's going to be quicker than the first one with the intro, the Anna Leibovitz group photo. So this one we're just going to take a really quick look at a couple different techniques and then we'll be finished. But the point of these videos is just to keep your skills fresh and keep them sharp and hopefully, you know, if it's difficult at first, hopefully it starts to sink in just a little bit more and you can apply these techniques to your own art. Alright, so first off we might notice something kind of weird. So this dress is, if we look close, this is sharp and then this dress is out of focus and it looks kind of not well painted on. There's no shadows for the dress. When I got to looking I'm like something looks weird with this. So I did another search and I found that this was actually photoshopped on there. So I found the original painting which is a nude painting of the figure and we're gonna point out a couple different techniques in this one. Uh, first off the arabesques and I'm gonna highlight them right there. But the arabesques apply to the law of continuity which is a gestalt psychology principle and it creates unity and movement throughout the figure and the composition. So we can see how Pointer used this fabric to create movement and unity. And then it comes down, let me turn the opacity down. So it comes around, comes down, and then it links up to her leg and then follows down her leg there. And her hips, you know, usually the female form can create a contrapposto pose that is just saying that the hips are going one way and the shoulders are going the other way, which creates this S shape in the body. So this is a contraposto pose, and it usually creates nice arabesques throughout the body. So we got one coming down her hip and her leg, and then one going from her head through the mid section of her torso there. And then the other arabesque is on the inside of this fabric, just coming around here. So you can see the, the nice movement he's creating. All right, so that was arabesques. Now we have coincidences to look at. These are edge-to-edge -edge relationships that create unity and movement, and they also adhere to the law of continuity which is the Gestalt Psychology Principle. Let me just reduce this layer. Get the elbow to the hand, and then it comes down to the dress here, or the, the fabric. Then usually you can see any high contrast edges, hard edges, and try and run a vertical or a horizontal line to them, and you'll see that they match up to other areas. So the edge of this fabric comes down to the edge of this rock here, and then this water splashing up is a line there. And the edge of this water comes across and meets here. This comes across the hand and meets the belly button. The top of this fabric here, across the hair, and then over to this, uh, this is where she's chained to. So this is like a metal eye right here, metal loop. It also goes down here and coincides with this contrasting edge of the rock here. This cliff side here, comes down and coincides with this one. So those are coincidences, edge to edge relationships, and you should definitely try to use those. If you're using the grid, then you're already one step ahead of the game because the grid will promote these coincidences. So the last technique we'll look at is the ellipse, and we can see how the fabric is also being used to create that elliptical shape. So it goes around the fabric, comes across her stomach here, and then to the hand, and then comes back up. And you can see how there's these highlights here, kind of directing the eyes around, okay? So that's the Edward John Pointer painting, and you should definitely look his stuff up because he's got a lot of great paintings. So thank you so much for all the support. It's really appreciated. And if you guys want to see a master artist, photographer, painter, sculptor, cinematographer, anything, just write their names below, and I'll see what I can do to analyze them for you. Take care, everyone. <laughs>